Greetings from the farm. My name is Chisha Folletia and I'm so glad you could join us again here on the Mondo Farms channel. I'm standing here by the first compost facility we have here at Riverside and that gives you a clue as to what we're talking about on this video. We're going to be talking about compost. What is compost? Why is it so important for us here at the farm and how we use it as farmers? And also taking a quick look at how we actually make the compost. So every day at the farm, the team has different jobs. And one of the jobs for today is to making a fresh batch of compost in this compost facility. I'll give you a clue. Here, I'm standing next to this very pungent aroma, well dried chicken manure. And as you can see, it's got lots of activity happening on it. And over there is our structure that we built last year in which we make the, 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 the compost. So, there's an old expression in farming that you don't, some, it goes something like this, you don't actually farm the land, you farm the soil. So the soil is one of the most important uh, things that we have on a farm. You can be anywhere in the world, but soil is really what's really most important to you, especially on a crop farm like we are here at Winterthorn. Soil is made up of many things. It's made up of uh, inorganic particles, sand and clay and all those other things you can check that out for yourself under soil science but one of the most important things is the organic matter that's actually contained in the soil and even where you have very sandy soil um, very clay soil you can still improve the quality of the soil by creating a more loamy like um, structure by in incorporating compost compost is not manure standing behind me here is manure Manure, I always describe manure as manure is something that comes out of something. You can have pig manure, chicken manure, goat manure, cow manure, sheep manure, crocodile manure, I guess, and of course, our own manure. But it's something that comes out of something. Manure in its very basic form has got a very high ammonia content and it's very difficult when you apply that directly onto crops. It can have a devastating effect. Yes, it's full of nitrogen and stuff, but it's not the way you want it. So what we have to do is we prepare a product called compost where we let the manure um, get processed through a certain way, which I'll show you later. And that's what we're doing here. So the other reason why uh, compost is so important to us here as farmers, apart from what we said about it helping us to improve the quality of our soil and to bring about more nutrition, is the issue of nutrition itself. So I'll show you a quick graph here as to how the fertilizer prices have moved um, here in Zambia over the last couple of years. Take a look at this. As you can see, there's been massive, massive increase of pricing and with these uh, geopolitical issues that we're having around the world now, things are only going to get a lot worse. So we've adopted over the last couple of years a system of mixing um, organic nutrification as well as chemical uh, nutrification. Nutrification? I think I just made up that word, but I think you know what I mean. So it's really important for us as we try, you know, we're in the business of farming as a business to make money. So we can't just keep accepting and uh, being subject to all the uh, price increases that are happening. So by improving, bringing in more and more of the compost, then we can reduce on our fertilizer load uh, that we have on our farm. There's our heap of uh, chicken manure that forms part of the basis of the structure of how we make the compost. And here is our composting facility. I first showed this in a video sometime mid last year. And if you wanna see that, here's a link to that. But what we have here is three rooms and uh, they're about five meters by 1.5 or so. And then you've got the roof structure that's covering it. And we have one, two, three rooms on this platform here. This is like a working area where the guys work from. How do we make compost from manure and leaves is we lay layers of it. And the guys are actually literally doing that today. 
um, as you can see. We lay layers of it. So the first layer, maybe we'll have the greens, which are the leaves. The second layer, we'll have the chicken manure, which is the brown. And then we also, in between, we lay a layer of, uh, in our system, we lay dirt. So look, there's so many, 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 many ways of, um, of uh, making compost. But this is the way we do it here at Mondo Farms. And it's worked very, very, very well for us. So you have the three layers, then we put some water in there, and then we cover it up, uh, and everything sort of cooks in there. You've heard about uh, this anaerobic digestion, and it helps to break down the organic material and distribute the nitrogen content that's in the, um, in the leaves as well. And it all comes into this. I may not be giving the process as clearly as possible, but look, there's a lot of, um, places on the internet that will teach you exactly and better than me how to make compost but I'm just sharing with you a little bit of how we do it here. So here in this room, this is room one, uh, you'll have room two and room three and then we have the layers and oh here's something interesting that you can actually see, here's a, a bit of dirt that's coming, more dirt coming. You see that layer of soil looking there? That's how much we're going to fill up this room with. Let's finish bringing some more of the, of the dirt. Some beautiful loamy soil that we get from somewhere else. And then, when we fill up this thing, it's going to reach that level, and it's literally going to drop as the stuff is decomposing over the three to four weeks that we actually have it in here. And then, it will. We will then turn it, and we can also have a look at some of the videos of how we've uh, been making compost over the time. And we take it from there into room two, and then it sits for another month, it does some more decomposition. And it's important when you're turning to get the stuff that was on the floor, on the bottom, sorry, to come in and be on the top. So we literally turn it like this, and we turn it this, what it is. So room one comes into two after a few weeks. When it comes into here, you can see it again here. It does come all the way up to here, which is about a meter, and it drops down over the time as it's decomposing. And here's a, here's a quick look at what they were doing over the last uh, couple of days, where we were taking the material from room two and moving it into room three over there. Composting, composters. Finias. So guys, I've got different series. I jumbo bagging a room one. Eh, since I be jumbo bagging a room one. Eh. Okay. Pang on. Imiga. The gun magambo imire volire tu. Ibuire apare ya. The gun magambo imani kure volire volire nde volire. Also, I need to do no After do my table. 
o dos de tus chiques maño. Batiré a fumar cola, coca fumar yamke co, fumar yamke co se ende pas maní. Si no feeling es que se me cuela con mam. So this is the final stage of the, of the decomposition and the final place that the compost that we make actually comes in. It's come from room one into room turned into room two, and then in the final stage it's turned into room three. And ooh, can you see this? This is all it's happening, lots of organic activity happening there. We put a tent on top, and the reason we put a tent is just to control the heat that's uh, come up there. Did I mention that compost cooks, you actually can cook an egg on a, a properly heated um, compost heap. Let me just see if I can step in here amongst all this. That's where we are farmers. And yeah, it's a good temperature. It's a good, good, good temperature. That's right. Yeah. So it's all in here cooking and you'll see the level of this drop and when it does finally come out. Um, we put it out here here and then here the truck comes and we take it. So that's a very quick rundown of the compost facility uh, that we have and how we actually make our compost and uh, as I said we're lucky today because the guys are literally actually making a fresh batch in, uh, in room one there and this batch is going to stay for three to four weeks and then when it's a little bit cooked then we bring it into room two and then take it into room three. I need to show you some actual compost. I'm going to take you to Westgate and show you some actual compost. The compost that was here and that we're actually using in the onion beds that we're making up at Westgate. Let's go and take a quick look at that. So I'm now here at Westgate and I promised you some compost. And here's a heap of compost that came out of uh, room three of the compost facility a couple of days ago. It's being used here. Uh, you can see the guys in the background here and everybody is working hard to prepare these beds which are going to be transplanting the onion that we have on Riverside 2D it's coming here next week so here's the compost that we make some of the compost that we make it is rich and organic let's try and dig around in it a little bit and there's a pencil I don't know where that came from Anyway, it's a thing. So if we go deeper into it, you can see a lot of the rich, deep organic material. Nah, come on, be brave. Hold it in your hands. Look at that. Proper, proper. It's got organic stuff. It's got all the decomposed leaves, broken down leaves, and material in it. This is a, a couple of tons. That's here. And what? In heaven's name, do we do with it? Let me show you what we do with it. These are our beds, these onion beds. They're basically one meter beds, and they are, we got a little bit of a space in there. And what the guys are doing there, you can see, if I get a bit closer, actually, let me come over to this side. This is, uh, by the way, is Westgate uh, block one and two, and that's our shade house over there. And this goes block the blocks count all the way back into eight over there. All right, so here's our bed, uh, one of the onion beds, and you can see this depression that we had here. It's about like a good little thickness of about maybe six inches or so, and we're going to come and pour in the compost in here and that gives the plant roots that we put in quite a good sort of um, starting uh, base in which to grow so right now you can see 
these onion beds being made to a certainly good height and that's because we are in the rain season. This is the second batch of onion and uh, we're on a hill. The hill comes down here, I don't know if you can see that, down into the stream that side. So we're basically putting these beds up a little bit high. But the story today is compost and that's basically our compost over there and how we use it right here in the farm in practice. So we're still here at Westgate and we're seeing, talking about how the uh, compost is used here on the farm. This is block four. Here's our shade, one of our shade houses there with a beautiful windbreaker. I love those windbreakers, my dear. And then he, this is block four here. And we've got all these, these beds that have been made and we're about to transplant in, in a couple of days, our next crop of eggplant. And quick look at how we actually make the eggplant beds. So you've got your two meter spacing from here to here, and then your 50 centimeter or so concrete. And then the eggplants will be planted one, 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 at a diagonal space of about 50, 60, because the eggplant is a big bushy crop. Now you see this tabletop, what they would call in the 80s, 90s, tepocat. This tabletop thing that we have here, inside it is where the manure is. So the manure is right there, it's right in here. And if I were to dig down in here, which I won't, just disturbing, I would find the, the, the actual manure there. Why are we looking at this thing sitting like this, standing empty and nothing's happening on it? Because we drenched it after uh, finishing up the, closing up the beds. And then we drench it with a biological insecticide called Recharge, which helps us to talk to the nematodes and send them to nematode hell. The nematodes are bad, bad, bad creatures. That was the compost. <laughs> so actually the final finished product and also taking a look at how we use it. It's been great having you with us here on this particular video where we've looked back and having a quick introduction to compost, uh, the importance of compost, uh, how we use it to a, improve the soil and also to uh, reduce on our costs here and also had a quick look at how we actually make the compost in our composting facility using some of this stuff which is some of the leaves and stuff that we get from around the farm. Uh, branches and stuff as well as the tops of the carrot. Have you ever realized that when you plant a carrot and you harvest it you literally only eat the orange thing and the rest of it stays? Now we had to do something with the rest of that. Similarly with broccoli leaves, all of the outer things, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, you always leave those, those parts. And also when we turn a, a field and we take um, we bring in new stuff, we have to clear the, the content that's in the field and we'll leave a little bit of organic but not too much. And then we bring all that browns, then we get chicken manure from a couple of sources uh, around Lusaka and then it's cracked in here. Then we make, because we don't have chickens here at the farm. Never, ever, ever will we have chickens here at this farm. So, uh, chicken manure like a heap over there, then we mix it in layers and then it all cooks and organically decomposes and uh, everything works out well and we get this wonderful black organicish richish thing that i was showing you just now please like the video if you can subscribe to the channel comment below and share something with your friends thank you very much for joining us here on the wonder farms channel you take care bye bye